Welcome to the demonstration of online electricity bill payment system. This project allows users to pay their electricity bill online via credit card. Thus, the system automates the process of electricity bill payment. In this way, a lot of time of the user is saved as now the user doesn't have to stand in the queue for making the payment. The system even calculates extra charges in case the bill is not paid before due date. This application is developed using ASP.NET as front-end and SQL Server as back-end. So now, so now let's have a look into the system. Let's first go to the admin module. Here you need to just enter the ID and password. So these are the options available for the admin. First one is the registration. That is the user will have to come to the admin for doing the registration. Just fill the following details. The password. The personal details. Email ID. address just click on sign up now so the details will be added to the database the next one is view customers so these are the customers of the uh, who have registered so the admin can view the details of the following customers the next one is calculate bill So here uh, the admin needs to enter the customer, the consumer number. Then just click on search. The, the customer name will be displayed over here. And then just enter the bill number. Then just select the month. Expiry date. Once you have selected the expiry date, just mm -hmm. enter the unit consumed. So your suppose 450. And just click on calculate. So the bill amount calculated a message is shown, and the system will calculate the bill amount and show uh, and will display over here. That is 4050. So this is about the calculate bill, and the admin can even update the unit cost. For example, if the here you need to enter the per unit cost. If I want to change to nine, just click, just click on update and update it successfully. Message is shown that is the per unit cost will be uh, will be updated successfully in the database. So this is about the admin module. Next one is the customer. That is a user of the system. Now you need to enter the ID and password. So these are the options available for the user. First one is view bill. The, the customer number will be fetched, uh, fetched directly from the database. And as soon as the customer logs in, the next one is service number. Enter the service number and uh, you need to select the month. For example, March. So here you can see the, all the details will be shown that is the service number, name of the user, the address and the month, the due date, the amount of the bill, the bill amount and the status that is paid. And if I want to uh, view my bill for the month of say uh, April, just select the month and click on view bill. Then here the status is shown that is not paid. So just click on make payment if you want to pay the bill then just click one of the option say credit card then you need to enter the following details expiry date and month and year here the total charges will be calculated and shown here so just click on pay so once you click on pay a uh, message is shown that is payment is made so this is about the view bill option 
the next is feedback here the customer id will be fetched and you just need to enter the feedback and click on submit so the feedback submitted successfully uh, the message is shown so this is all about how the system works thank you